This is the installation guide for the Lockwood Elevation Window Control System. The tools required to complete the installation are listed in the instruction leaflet. Prepare for installation. Determine if you are installing a single or a pair of operators. Normally, if your window is wider than 900 mm, you will need a pair of operators. Determine the height of the window. If the height of the window is less than 500 mm, you will need to install the pivot brackets. Refer to LockWeb for a complete window matrix. You may need to restrict the length of the chain for short windows. Ensure you have non-friction stays installed. Measure and mark the fixing holes for the actuator brackets. Measure and mark the fixing holes for the sash bracket. Then mark the location where the cable is to be routed through. Drill an 8mm hole to route the cable through the frame. Drill the holes as required for mounting the actuator. Then drill the holes required for the sash bracket. Set the chain length and configure the actuator. The default chain length is 300mm. To shorten the chain, insert the clutch tool and press down, while sliding the chain manually to your desired measured length. Move the chain back to ensure the slotted hole is in position. Remove the clutch tool. Insert the chain limiter plug into the slotted hole and then rotate 90 degrees to lock. Replace the chain limiter cap and clutch cap. To remove the chain limiter, reverse this step. Plug the control loom firmly into place. Screw the power cables into the connector block. If the sink loom is required, firmly plug it in. Decide which direction you would like the cable to exit and drill out a hole in the cover with a drill bit suitable for the cable thickness used. Thread the cable through the cover and secure it with the screw. You may need to seal the cable with silicon to meet the desired IP rating. Route the cable through the frame, where it can be readily connected in the roof or the wall cavity. Secure the actuator to the window frame with the brackets and screws supplied. Insert the clutch tool and slide the chain out. Secure the sash bracket to the window sash with the screws supplied. Test if the window can be opened and closed manually by using the clutch tool and manually pushing and pulling the window. Replace the clutch cap. Ensure you follow the correct diagram, depending on the configuration of your system. Place the supplied resistor at each end of the network. Keypad installation. Prepare the wall. Using a standard mounting bracket, mark out and produce a cavity in the wall. Route the cable from the power supply and operator through the cutout. Secure the C fixed plaster bracket and screw the touchscreen bracket to the plaster bracket. Keypad connections. Ensure the power is always disconnected when you perform any connections. Terminate the connections as per the keypad fitting instructions. Ensure the connections are secure and safe from electrical shorts. The connections may be left in the wall cavity or the roof. Pull the keypad cable from the wall cavity. Connect the plug into the back of the keypad until a firm click is heard. Clip the keypad onto the mounting bracket. Keypad programming. Install a setup. Upon first connection, the display will sequentially show and count every actuator that it's connected to. This may take several minutes. Double check that the correct amount of actuators are shown on the display. A calibration button will appear. 
Press the button and all actuators will calibrate by opening and closing twice. Once the automatic calibration is complete, you will be prompted to commence the zone setup. Proceed by selecting Yes. Unallocated actuators will appear on the left side in grey, with the serial number underneath. Actuators will be temporarily named Actuator 1, Actuator 2, and so on. If you recorded the serial number of each actuator during the installation, and you know the location of that actuator, scroll on the right arrows up and down to find the appropriate zone name, and select using the Add to Zone button. Select Yes to confirm. If you have not recorded the serial numbers, press the Actuator button and physically locate the zone where the actuator is moving or open. Return to the keypad, and using the right arrows, Scroll to find the appropriate name to match the location and select using the Add to Zone button. Select Yes to confirm. Repeat these steps for all actuators until all are allocated and the home screen appears. You can allocate more than one actuator to one zone. For example, you could have three actuators in Bedroom 1. However, you won't be able to allocate the same actuator to more than one zone you will be prompted to exit and save. Select Yes to save. Quick check. The home screen will always show the three most commonly used windows or zones. Use the up and down arrows to scroll through all zones to check that all zones are shown and correctly allocated. Select a zone and press any position. Check if the corresponding window opens. Repeat for all windows. Modify zones. Step one, remove an actuator from a zone. Press the setup button followed by the zone setup button. Then press remove from zone followed by yes. Actuators will now appear in green, meaning they are already allocated to a zone. Use the arrow keys on the right to find the zone that needs to be modified. Touch the actuator button and double check that it's the one you would like to remove. Press the remove from zone button in the bottom left corner. Select yes to remove it from the zone. Repeat these steps for all actuators that are allocated to the incorrect zone. If you are prompted to save, select no at this point. Step two. Reallocate an actuator to a zone. Press the Setup button followed by the Zone Setup button. Now press the Add to Zone button followed by Yes. Press the Actuator button. This window will now open. Walk and locate the actuator that is moving or open. Once you've located it, note the location. Now scroll using the right arrows to find the appropriate location and select Add to Zone on the bottom left. Select Yes to confirm. Repeat these steps for all actuators until all actuators are allocated and the home screen appears. You will be prompted to exit and save. Select Yes to save. Restore previous setting. Restore previous allows you to restore the previously saved setting. During the zone setup, you may be prompted to save. It's recommended that you don't save as you go, that is, after each step. You should only save after all changes and modifications are made. Restore previous setting is not recommended if the rain sensors are installed because it will delete the rain sensor setup. Setting a pin code. You may choose to use a pin code to lock the display. If so, from the home page, press the setup button. By default, the pin code is disabled. Press the pin code disabled button to enable the pin code. Press yes and enter a four digit pin followed by Exit and Save, and then Yes. To disable the PIN code, first unlock the keypad by re-entering your PIN code and pressing Enter. Select Setup, then the PIN code Enabled button, followed by Yes. Rain Sensor Setup. You can either add one rain sensor to control all your windows, or you can allocate specific rain sensors to specific zones to a maximum of four rain sensors. 
To set up one rain sensor to control all windows, follow these steps. From the home page, select Setup, then Rain Sensor Setup. Select the Add RS to Zone button, followed by Yes. If you had more than one rain sensor installed, you can scroll to select the appropriate one using the left arrows. On the right are the zones that have been previously allocated. The rain sensor on the left can control all the zones, or just one. Scroll to find a zone you would like to close in the event of rain. Select Add to Zone in the bottom left, then select Yes. Repeat this until all zones are allocated to a rain sensor. Press Exit and Save once complete, then press Yes. Configure the rain sensor. From the home page, select Setup, then Rain Sensor Setup. Select Configure Functions, then select Yes. For each zone, you can enable the window to either completely shut or just vent during rain. You can also enable the window to reopen once the rain has stopped. Press Exit and Save, then Yes. Rain Sensor Activation Once the sensors detect rain, the display will show the Rain Sensors Activated symbol. Once the rain has ceased, and depending on the configuration, the window may reopen to its original position. User Functions you may add up to 30 windows to the display and name each window from a predefined list. You can add more than one window to a zone and you can scroll through the zones using the up and down arrows. The most commonly used zones will appear on the home page. At a glance, you can see the position of each window or zone. At any time you can either open or instantly close all windows. Controlling zones. Use the arrow and select the zone. Press the Zone button. Select one of four positions, Full Open, Half Open, Vent or Shut. The window will automatically move to this position. You can control multiple windows at the same time. While one window position is selected, go to the home page and select another window in its desired position. Repeat this with as many windows as you like.